Everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Also, HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. So, I'm feeling a lot better, uh, but um, yeah, I finally broke down and got some antibiotics. So, um, I've gotten some work done. Worked on uh, an Ameritron amp and um, got on that SB200. Wait till you see that thing. I'm waiting on one capacitor I needed that I didn't have. Uh, and that thing was a mess, and it is, it's nice and pretty now, um, better than new, so I'll have that part tomorrow, and I'll, I'll make a final video on that, and, uh, show it working also, so, you know, you need it so much, you know, when something needs a lot of work, I like to show a video, because some people are like, you know, oh, did it actually work, or whatever, but customer always gets a video, free of charge, I know some people charge for videos with radios and stuff, but always free of charge. They get a video of it working on one band of their choice. I test it on all of the bands it's meant to work on, and then they get a video of it working on their choice. I don't recommend with the Ameritrons using them on 17 if it has a stock choke in it because they're known to have issues, like a serious resonance issue. So anyway, I'm going to do a quick video. It's nighttime here. I got my capacitors from my buddy Jim. Uh, I forget how much total capacitance. I think it's like 140 or 150. It's going to be a crazy amount. Um, he used the same amount in his. And uh, there's another gentleman, a good friend of his, who passed away. His name was um, uh, Jack, I believe. Really good guy. Um, at a 366, that was the same amount. I'm going to have a 50 ohm series glitch resistor and a series fuse, high voltage fuse. And. Um, in series with the B positive and also one in series with one side of the secondary of the transformer. So, you know, with that much capacitance, you have to be protected. So it's going to have really good um, regulation. The line voltage will be nice and stiff and it's going to be rock solid on sideband, the, uh, the anode voltage. So this amplifier is also going to have a grid and plate overlo overload circuit. Uh, you know, I wouldn't want to have a <clears throat> fuse and series with the B positive because you can end up possibly damaging the tube if uh, you keep trying to transmit into it. So I'm gonna open the box. These are all brand new. They're big bucks. I think he said they're like I think I think he said they're like $150 or so new each. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four, five. 20 capacitors. That's why he said he sent a spare. Maybe not. So. so there's a pin. This was for mounting. Looks like the pin's got bent a little bit. But um, I shouldn't have touched that just in case there was a charge. So don't do that at home. Don't ever touch the terminals. I'm going to expect the other ones and make sure they're okay. I'm not even going to try to bend it back. I'll just leave it be. So, wait till you see how I mount these. I actually have plastic clamps, but I'm not going to go into that right now. So, these all be in series. Yeah, this one doesn't look bad. That one's bent a little bit. They may have already been like that. Probably already like that because they they have holes that they go through. So so oh, I'm I'm going to condition these. Um, these are really good capacitors. Let's see. So when they're all in the circuit and ready to when I'm ready to fire it up, I'll bring the the anode voltage up in stages to. Uh, I think he said re, I don't know if it's condition or there was the re something that I might forget. I was hoping to get him on the phone, but he, he is, uh, he, he sleeps, you know, he stays up all night. He might be taking a nap right now. So, um, or three hours behind us up there. So next video, I'll try to include him. Me and Jim talk almost every day. So he gave me some anode clips, or not anode clips. Well, they can be used for anode clip. But these are, um, use these for some fuses I have. Saves me from having to search through all my stuff. But he sent me something else. I don't know if it's in here or not. 
Oh yeah. Jim's a good guy. Gave me three of these. I have the other ones I need here. Super con connectors. I think I'm the first guy that started using those, and then I, at least that, that I know of, and there were a lot of people that didn't know about them. They were just really neat. They have, uh, I think the smallest might be 25 amp, or they might make a smaller one. They probably do, but 25, 50, 100, and 250. These are just awesome. I'm going to use those for the line connection. I only need 240, so <clears throat> I'll have a ground. And I'll use a lug for that, and then I'll have the um, two hots, and then transformers are going to be external and a cabinet, which I'm going to show you right now, and it's probably going to upset people, but, you know, it's a really nice cabinet, and it's built really well. My transformers are 151 pounds each, and I'm using two of them, so, um, but anyway, I'll show, that, show you that in a second. So, I always hook, I hook Jim up with stuff, hooks me up with stuff, I have a lot of parts. I don't like really selling parts, I just give parts to... You know, with the um, a lot of the building type parts, you know, hard box kits are different. But you know, if someone's in need, I'll hook them up. But so much of this stuff so hard to find. And Jim had some extras, and you know, he wants the supply to be really stout. You know, so. But okay, for the Henry amplifier, I have most of it sold. The um, just bring you up. To, I want to bring you up to date on that. The um, RF deck is sold. Control cable sold, the control box is sold, the transformer sold like a couple weeks ago or so, both of them, the one that was in it, the doll, original doll, and then the um, the spare one I had that came with it. Um, I still have the choke for the power supply, the re you know, the one that's, um, you know, for the resonating uh, setup, reson setup, and uh, I have the resonating cap, and the diode blocks. Mercury contactor assembly with the um, 20k liter slash uh, equalization loading resistors, and these will get a resistor across each 100k. I'm going to put 100k uh, three watt, and will dissipate roughly half of their rating. <coughs> so we'll have a nice easy life. I check all these when I stop the video. I'll make sure none of the pin snapped off leash and that. I mean I don't know how that happened. As you can see, but unless the unless the box got pushed in, I don't know. But there's a gap, but no, I doubt that. Came packed in the original packing. Okay, so oh yeah I also have the tube. I have a, a good China tube, three six, three thousand. I'm not gonna keep it. Uh, I think it's almost new. I'm gonna be selling that too. Um figure Probably 800 bucks. So, okay, so I'm going to show you the cabinet. Like I said, it's probably going to upset some people. I know it's not for sale. I'm going to keep it. And it's just too, it was, you know, to sell the cabinet, it would have required shipping it. And no one's going to want to pay that, and, you know, plus the cost of the cabinet. So I got a lot of money. Actually, you know, someone said, oh, those amps are worth a lot of money or whatever. You know, just selling the parts. I mean, I've sold. Seven thousand. You know, I've accumulated seven thousand dollars so far. So these amplifiers sell for around seven to eight thousand dollars working, um, and I, you know, these parts are really hard to find. So the gentleman who bought the parts knows that, and he's a really intelligent guy. And at least the guy that bought everything other than the two transformers, the stuff I listed uh, before that has sold, um, and he wants to keep his going for a long time. I tried to emphasize that. You know, I. My amplifiers, like my 6000, I have multiples of every part. And, you know, certain parts, like the, the load cap, uh, it goes up to 3000 uh, picofarads. I have three extras, and I'm going to use one in another amp when I make another. But um, they're hard to find. So when you see parts available that you can't get, I really suggest buying them. You know, if you see it, buy it when you don't need it because if you're looking for something that's when you're going to spend a lot more or just not most of the time not be able to find it that's my advice but um so like i said that stuff's gone so um if you're watching this or follow my videos um you know he was happy i get i cut him a break because he bought all this stuff in one shot and he's a really nice guy so um he likes to tinker with amps so okay so i'm going to go show you the cabinet and i'll be right back Okay, so here's the cabinet. Maybe uh, some of you guys 
guessed it, but I'm going to use the AK Ultra cabinet. This is a really sturdy cabinet. It has C channel aluminum. I think it's like eighth inch diameter around each corner. It's all welded. Um, it's completely empty right now. It has the right angle piece. It has the plate in the bottom, which uh, I forgot if it was quarter inch or eighth inch. I think it's quarter inch. Maybe it's eighth inch. I don't know. But um, anyway, it's thick enough to support the transformer. It has the right angle <coughs> aluminum pieces where the RF deck slid in. So basically, I'm going to I have a piece of aluminum in the garage. I'm going to cut down. So I'll have one transformer in the bottom, one transformer in the top. And um, just the transformers. So you've seen the other cabinet. It's like the same height. So basically I'm going to have the plate supply transformers here. And I can use it with other amplifiers. And the rectifiers and all that will be in the bottom cabinet. of the, And the caps will be in that bottom cabinet. So I'll be self-contained. And I have side panels for it, front panel, all that. You don't. If someone came here, they wouldn't even know what that is if I didn't tell them. Because there's a panel that goes on the front and um, hangs on the front, and um, it looks like a little mini fridge. And so does this kind of sort, you know. So basically, look, this is. Oh, there's my pocket for my pants. So. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. Short. It's very short. So, 12 kilowatts. Well, of course the thing would do more, but you want to stay within the tube specs, you know, otherwise the linearity is going to suffer, you know. So, but yeah, it's overkill, 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 overkill. I already have the parts. You know, this cabinet, to make something like this, I was dreading it. I'm like, what am I going to make the cabinet out of? I used to buy, I, you know, I mean, I went for the other amplifier, I bought cabinets from a guy in New Jersey, a real nice guy, and um, it's just they w wouldn't be large enough. He doesn't have a large enough one, plus then I have to, reinforce, have to reinforce it, a lot more work. This is perfect, perfect size, it'll have a fan, I'll probably put the fan right here, and um, you know, pull some air out, it already has the filter there, so pull some air out, you know, to Make sure it stays nice and cool. And, um, yeah, so, but, uh, yeah, I have a couple, uh, AL80Bs here. No, I'm sorry, I have an AL572 and AL80B. I'm going to pull the AL572 out tomorrow. Um, hard box stuff has been keeping me really busy also, so I haven't stopped on that. Again, if I have the part listed on my site, it's in stock. If there's a weird order, like if someone orders a bunch of something, um, I'll have the replacement within a couple days. And then, you know, I, sometimes I can't catch it in time, like it happened with a fan one time and something else small. But 9.9 .9 times out of 10, if it's on the site, it goes out the next business day. I'm really, you know, I know what it's like to have to wait on parts. And, you know, I, you know, I don't want to do to others, I wouldn't want under myself. So I try to get the parts in their hand as quick as possible so um, I really have a passion for getting things on quick you know um, but I can't wait to get back on this uh, I'm going to show you the transformers real quick um, it's kind of dark in the closet maybe I'll, I'll put my flashlight on, on my phone so you can see them but uh, I don't know if I've shown them yet or not but so okay so, I'll be right. okay, so these are Transformers, there's one. There's the identical one over here. 4300 and 5300 AC taps at an amp and a half each. So they'll both be in parallel. They're the exact same part number. Uh, the guy that made amplifiers in California, he used these two same transformers in his 6000 amps. Uh, and also he made some 46 10,000s that had issues and he used the, the same transformers in that thing too. So um, the transformer is like an engine in a car. It's like your heart. It's like it's the heart of the amplifier. You know, you never want that undersized. You want it to be the proper size. So these are CCS rated, and they'll supply a lot more than <clears throat> their total rating for a short, you know, burnt, you know, certain duty cycle. But um, uh, the, but they're rated for the uh, the full output. So 
So anyway, I'll say again real quick before I go, this amp is not for sale. It's just something I'm putting together because I have the parts and I want to show I can do it. And um, actually, the guy who had me build a 6-meter amp, uh, I'm sorry, this yeah, 6-meter 6 6000 is asking me to build a, um, he's outside the United States. He wants to build a um, 3CX 15,160 through 40 amp. He doesn't want 20 or any other bands, so... I wouldn't use a rotary switch in that. I use really big vacuum, um, vacuum uh, single pole, single throw relays. Um, so that would work. So anyway, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Again, amprepairguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com. 203-892-4119. Look all my this is all my Teflon wire stock. So people say, why do you use Teflon wire? Because um, I have a lot of it. <laughs> That's a enamel wire over there, but so it's some PTFE or whatever Teflon tubing. And I gobbled this stuff up. Good to have, but that stuff's not for sale. This is all my my lifetime supply. So, okay, thanks for watching, and have a great day. I will be back, hope, most likely tomorrow, with the uh, finished SB200. So, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and thank you for all the kind words about um, hoping I get better. Um, it sucks being sick. So, 73. Notice something. This is actually aluminum foil. So, I could just twist the cap a little bit and short the terminals out <laughs> so I guess uh, this is fact I believe it's factory packing with that aluminum foil so that's actually a good idea and these were surplus he got these years and years and years ago and um, I don't know if there's a date on here uh, I don't know how to read it but anyway so they've been around the block. Went from wherever they originally were to the guy you got them from, and then at least once, and then from that guy to Canada, and then Canada to me. So thank you very much, Jim. I really appreciate this. You're a good buddy. So, okay, again, 73. Catch y'all later.